One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little Roman. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs>
Nah, Radio Shack was like a, a like a small Best, Best Buy, yeah. yeah, like a small, like a real small Best Buy that sold over overpriced everything. Yep. The little, little man don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, what we talking about? Radio Shack. You know what Radio Shack is? Uh, I mean, I think I've like heard of it. I think I've heard of it because I think my pop used to work there. There's like three stores in Temple. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I, like, I think my pop used to work there. But yeah, look at you guys. Estos chavos se están aventando ahorita. They're getting down. I did that. Not Eddie. Not Eddie or Eddie? Well, on his thing it says Eddie. That's Eddie. Eddie. Well, I'm never correcting you, but it's Eddie. You Eddie. never. Eddie always calls him Eddie. I always heard you call him Eddie. So Scarface is Ruben <laughs> on his way out. So yeah, guys, these guys have been getting down. He shout out to my boy, man. My boy Jesse came through and helped us out real quick. Y'all check it out. This is the first set of tubs that we've ever done on an aluminum bed. But I'm happy to say that we actually have the parts and the knowledge to do these now. But yeah, the tools, everything that we need to do them. It was a very expensive part to buy, but I guess it'll be beneficial for us at the shop. Uh, I'm gonna show them to you. You're gonna be like, why are they green? Well, green is edge primer and basically because it's aluminum, uh, the edge primer kind of sinks into it. That way, no condensation, no none of that white stuff starts to form on them. And uh, that way it could get sealed. So that way, whenever Ruben takes it to go get bedline, uh, it's sealed and there's nothing gonna come out of it. So they gotta scuff them up real quick and then shoot the bedliner. I'm pretty sure they're gonna peel the whole bedliner because this bedliner on the truck's real thin. But yeah, y'all check them out real quick. Yeah, so you see the tiger stripes, all that is just self-etching primer that goes on these. It's a uh, direct to metal. Uh, if you can't tell, it, it had a lot of little indentions right here, all the way across, all the way across over here. And the reason it had those indentions was because when we put the panel and we welded it through the back, it was creating pores, not pores, but like little dents, like little dips. We ended up sanding everything down with the DA. We grabbed some Bondo, filled them all in, sanded them all down smooth again. So now you don't see no dents or nothing like that on the actual aluminum. Uh, we seam sealed them. And then from there, let's go to the back. So the back's not done yet, but we actually seam sealed them from the back. That way no water spits out through the side because they are tag welded all the way across. Still right here, we still got to clean all this up. We got to clean this up right here with the flat wheel, clean this up with the flat wheel, make them look identical. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Right here, we still gotta cut the lip, round it off, round it off, and then bolt the bedside to this, so that way uh, everything stays supported. But yeah, guys, talk about a new experience on doing aluminum tubs. I'm just proud to say that we actually did them and we knocked them out uh, for Scarface. So hopefully he likes it. At the very end, the rear end is narrowed. The rear end is narrowed. The wheels are already uh, here. We made them fit already. We're doing the underbed and shot relocation kit. Tomorrow we'll slap the bed on there. We'll do uh, basically a paint correction on it. Clean it all up nice and neat and he'd be ready to roll. Also guys, y'all check it out. We do have my boy Perrillo's truck right here. Um, his suspension, man, I ain't gonna lie. He was racing this truck and whatnot, but the suspension was pretty bad. It was pretty fucked. And uh, we ended up taking care of him, man. We ended up hooking him up. We ended up giving him I want to say a crackhead price, you know what I'm saying? But it's for Perio, you know what I'm saying? This is his first truck, and we decided to help him out. We ended up replacing every suspension part on this thing. We ended up doing new bearings, upper, lower control arms, ball joints, uh, inner and outer tie rods, the whole nine yards, new sway bar links and everything. Y'all check it out. So everything new on it, and what we ended up doing as well, we're going to do a four stage. We're doing spindles and springs, flip kit in the back, under bed, uh, put the stock shackles back on, and then belt to street performers and drop shock. So... We're gonna get him riding right. This truck's gonna look clean. He's getting a lot of upgrades for it. He already put the interior in there, the hood, uh, the whole front end, all new suspension now. And then from here, I believe he's gonna go take care of the headliner. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna paint it pretty soon, but I'll let him explain that to y'all in his video. So, vamos a pistear, vamos a tomarnos una, Eddie, vente. Mira, Eddie, nomás tomate una con nosotros. Okay. Una, una para el camino. Bueno, no para el camino. Bueno, sí, si quieres una para el camino. You're underage, bro, you can't be drinking. He said, eh. Mira. Ya que no hemos hecho un video en un buen. Oh, my nail bent backwards. Oh, that shit hurt. Bro, look, I got crackhead hands, bro. Look at this shit. Cheers. Ya, 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 did. Hicieron bien, güey. Toda esta semana, güey. Se aventaron con madre, güey. Gracias. Tú no eres verga, pero. I'm just kidding, bro. Yo creo que es más movido el hijo de Juanillo que estos güeyes. ¿Verdad que sí? El, el hijo de Juanillo se avienta, güey. You know what? Juanillo. Juanillo, el día que Diego quiera venir a jalar aquí, me lo avientas porque ese, ese chavalón es una cuerda y le estás enseñando bien. So, 
If you're watching it, Diego, I got you, bro. This will be your first drop if you ever want to. You'll replace this guy right here. Una agüita? Yeah. Uh, you know, I that puro gray goose in the bottle? <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> guys, thank y'all for a good week. It's early Wednesday, pero. Pero gracias. Si, se aventaron. We're going to miss you, Razo. Here's to a good work week with the guys. Oh, y luego el viernes le voy a hacer unas fajitas. You're quitting before Friday, right? So you don't have to eat my food? Mm. Nah, just lay him. <laughs> <sighs> I don't even like Michelob, but that is good <laughs> and, and it's cold. I mean, I, I like it. Salud. All right, guys, so new day. As y'all know, we've been working on Perrillo's truck. Actually, Mando and Arturo were working on Perrillo's truck. Right now, I just started doing the underbed. Let me show y'all real quick. Fast forward. So I just started welding up his uh, underbed. I'm doing the other one right now. And we noticed that the frame was pretty much dirty. It was all trash or whatever. So I asked Mondo, Mondo, I was like, hey, think we should wash the frame for Perillo? He said, nah, nah, I'm just playing. So we asked him, so you wanna, should we wash it real quick? He's like, yeah, fuck it, cause it looks like shit. That way our work looks better at the end of the day and the truck looks better. So we're gonna go ahead and wash it. I'm gonna show you a little before and after. Just so I can take a little quick peek. We're just gonna pressure wash everything, gas lines, fuel pump, fuel tank, the diff. I mean, pretty much everything. Para que quede bien limpiecita. We're gonna wire wheel it, and then we're just gonna spray it all in black. Para que se vea malón. Alright, so now that we got it all pressure washed, uh, I did spray some degreaser before we started pressure washing it, so that's why a lot of the stuff was coming off real quick. But we got it all pressure washed, we got all the dirt off of it, so that way you can see all the surface rust that's under. Next, we're gonna wire wheel the whole thing after we do the underbed and drop shocks, flip kit, and all that good stuff. Uh, replace these shackles because he's got to go. Yeah, I don't see how some people can't waste 65 bucks and do the right parts, but obviously, Perrillo didn't do that. He didn't know I had that until he saw it. I pointed it out. So, yeah, we're going to do it the right way and then uh, paint everything. Get it all cleaned up for him, paint it, and then get him on the road. So, yeah, check it out, guys. Mondo welded in the underbed notch, and then we did a simple little quick rinse wire wheel and undercoat on this truck just something quick and easy just to get them out the door and get them rolling uh doesn't look halfway bad it looks pretty good yeah check it out so basically compared to what it looked like before this is a million times better so he's on his way up here right now to come pick it up that way he can see it on the floor for the first time i'm ordering a battery for it yeah, <laughs> you stupid ass i gotta delete that shit every time he says it not gonna charge no damn man it's only been two months <laughs> only two months <laughs> hey wait, half of it was not our problem bro we were waiting for old boy to come and do the tubs oh no la primera vez eran los saxos ¿verdad? si cierto like man si no fuera sido por eso esta troca ya salió hace chingos yeah vamos a ponerle una nueva I was holding it on purpose just to just to get a little bit of cotton y'all wanna go eat? yeah vamos a comer hoy? algo barato o algo mamalón steak Un steak, vamos a ver, oh fuck it. Para que no digan que me aguito, le voy a comprar un pinche steak más malón. Pues que pedo traen, cuz. Huh? We cut it out the tub. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what he said. Cut it out the tub. Oh. <laughs> you see, you're sticking to right Ooh. to the bottom, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. Se llamaba tub, you know? 
Ya, esa madre pica los ojos, güey. Ese olor. ¿No? La experiencia, güey, o sea... No puedes comparar la experiencia, güey. Mi hijo. Mi All right, I didn't, I didn't see that, but I just want to clarify this. We did not do any of that. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that, guys. We didn't touch none of that. Guys, you see that guy right there? It's his last day today, so he ain't doing a damn thing today. He's just walking around, acting like he owns this bitch, right? Can I just get on? De que quede, quede, ¿verdad? Ahí está Julio, mira, además para que te des un taco de ojo. Ya para que el martes vengas por ella y te puedes ir a dar la vuelta. El que hizo estos tabs se la rifó porque estaban bien grandotes y pues ahora hay que hacer unos más grandotes para que pueda quedar porque los que estaban ahí se quebraron. Lume, we'll go to North Jensen real quick, you go me? You want to be camera guy real quick? Yeah. Let's go, let's go get it. We got to go get a two-piece dry shaft. All right, guys, so we're back on the road. We're on our way to North Jensen Auto Parts. Actually, we're right down the street. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little parts that we needed. I know Heriberto needed a window regulator. Mando needed a little door latch cable. Um, I needed a two-piece drive shaft, some little clips here and there. So, like always, we're gonna hit up my boy Miguel, and uh, he's always gonna take care of us. So, real good friends of ours, man, him and his pop. Like I told you on all the videos, him and his pop are real good people. So, if you ever need anything, either hit them up. There's three people I go to. It's Trust Auto Parts, North Jensen Auto Parts, and Estrella Auto Parts. So you talk to Jose at Trust, right here at uh, North Jensen, you talk to Miguel, or at Estrella con Pepe. All three of those people, man, are great, awesome people. They're always down to help. So sure one you need, those three people are my go-to guys. That's where I always find everything, and they always take care of me. If they don't have it, they find it. So we're on our way over there, guys. Uh, let's go get some stuff real quick. Actually, so before we pull up, I just want to explain to y'all why I need a two-piece drive shaft. So a customer stated that he needed a two-piece drive shaft, and uh, we gave him a price. Oh, shit. So we gave him a price, and then uh, he didn't budge or nothing, but he was just like, hey, where does that, that price come from? So whenever we do a two-piece drive shaft, one, we got to come by a drive shaft. Two, we send it off, and we get all new U-joints, new carrier bearing, and they rebalance the drive shaft, and it has a warranty. So therefore, whenever we install the dry shaft, we give you a warranty. So we don't just install a dry shaft straight out of the junkyard. The way I've seen it done before by other people is that they'll get the dry shaft, they change the little, the caps on the U-joints, they put them under, they tack weld them, and they pretty much tell you, hey, here you go. That's what a five, $600 uh, two-piece dry shaft gets you. We don't do that. Ours, uh, they start off at 1200, and that's new cross member, new U joints, uh, what else? New carrier bearing, the labor, installation, everything. So just to get an idea, guys, because uh, I know some people are like, damn, why so much? We do it the right way. We don't cut no corners. And Miguel and North Jensen is never going to give us, he's never going to give us the crooked shaft. <laughs> so let's get off. Let's go visit my guys right here, real quick. And uh, we'll head back to the shop here in a little bit. Is that where we're going? Nine kilo, huh? I'm here for your shaft. Hoy? I caught him. He got a whole bunch of stuff ready for me. So now we're here to pick it up. 6910330, right? Man, 713-6910330. Miguel and North Jensen Auto Parts, like I said. Hit him up for anything you need. This is the man to go to. Yes, so we got a regulator. You got your U-bolts, I got your dry shaft. Yeah, it's those plastic ones that you use with the crew cap. Okay. Watson, it's for my guy at the shop. I'll ask real quick. No, because we're going to check it out over here. The guys hired at work, you know? A lot. A lot? Well, I've seen that you've been posting here lately a lot. Let's hear it. Oh, okay, no. We bought some of them. 30 trucks. 30 trucks? Woo. Guys, so if you're are, are listening to him, he said he has about 30 trucks coming in it's in the one the next week, couple of weeks. This week, hopefully we'll be bringing them in, man. Hell yeah. We'll get it from there, yep. Hey, look, me llevaste una Nali, güey. Me llegó una F, me llegaron dos Escalades. Anybody looking for six O's? You got six O's in stock right now? I got about four of them right now. 
Uh, they all have it. Four, six O's at Canyon. Tengo 2002, 2003, 2005, and 2006. Oh two, oh three, oh five, and oh six. Damn. So, anybody need a six O for that year model? He has them in stock, in good running condition, and he gives you thirty days, right? Thirty days to take it, go put it on, go try it on, and make sure that it's working. So, either way, man, my boy Miguel will never do you wrong. So he always makes things right. Uh, in any kind of situation, I've already had people come out here. A lot of people actually come out here on behalf of our part, and uh, he always takes care of them. So that's a good thing. We're gonna get these uh, little. Bed caps, I guess they're called. Come on, say Minnesota. Oh shit, he's not even here. I'm talking to myself. Yeah, so we're gonna get these bed caps off real quick and uh, take them to my boy Eddie. See how he likes them. Guys, y'all check it out. This one has clean door panels. This is a off-road series, so door panels are clean, both sides. The door is perfect, and the fenders are perfect. Hood, man, nah, not so good, but the bed's kind of clean too. All right, guys, so once again, hold on, because it's just kind of bumpy right The whole fucking street, all our is bumping. Uh, once again, guys, my boy Miguel took care of us. what I say? Y'all gonna see my titties jumping up and up. Um, yeah, Miguel took care of us again. So we got two two-piece dry shafts. We got the bed caps for uh, Heriberto's crew cab, a window regulator for Heriberto's crew cab, and I think that's it. But And the U-boats. Oh, yeah, and a whole bunch of U-boats that we always use. Man, we try to keep those there in stock because you'd be surprised what we get at the shop. Uh, bro, we've been getting... Show the man behind the camera, bro. My boy Aiden. He's holding the, the, the $3,000 camera. Nah, I'm just playing. It's an old-ass <laughs> iPhone. But, uh, guys, please, man, please, whenever you get stuff done anywhere else, I don't care. I don't care if you get it done somewhere else. But when you go get it done somewhere else, don't come crying back to me, little baby, you know. And expect to get it cheaper because it's not gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, lo barato sale caro, bro. That's what they always say. A lot of people always complain about my prices. If you ask about me, they're like, ah, oh, nah, he's too high, he's too high. So they go somewhere else. And then we get it. And it's like, nah, shit, I should've just came here in the first place. So I got a perfect example we had actually tried to put this on another video before and we didn't. Uh, I had told my boy Aiden, I said, hey, bro, you know, I was thinking about not doing videos, whatever, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. I was trying to get out the whole thing, you know, giveaways and whatnot. And a lot of people would message me and tell me, like, nah, bro, like, do it, do it. Like, bro, because of you, like, I have something to do. Like, and it's youngsters too. They're like, man, I used to come home and just get locked up in my room or whatever and all this shit. It's like, now it's like, I see that. I want to go try stuff. I want to do it or whatever. You inspire me to do stuff and whatnot. I never thought of myself of doing anything like that to inspire anybody. To me, I'm just your average Joe trying to make a living. But uh, when people write stuff to you like that, man, it inspires you. You know, it inspires you to push harder, move forward, and get shit done. So I don't know if y'all been following me on Instagram or if you don't, go follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here. Uh, go follow me on Instagram. We made a TikTok too. I'll put the TikTok right here. And, uh, and for you that watch me on YouTube, We've been posting a lot more stuff on Instagram and TikTok than we do on YouTube. So you'll see more of the, like the exclusive stuff on Instagram, the more like in and out stuff, whatnot. So when I tell you to go, God damn, look at that, look, 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 look. And then they wonder why we get in car accidents here in Houston. I'm looking at a camera and I don't even call something like that. Got an iPhone. Hey, your finger ain't coming up? No? Oh, it looks like it. So, <clears throat> I don't know where the fuck I left off at. But it was with the whole thing with don't cheap out on your truck. And then what was I What was I leaving off at right now? Uh, you were talking about, damn, that truck got me too. Yeah, that shit threw me off. This motherfucker almost hit us and then he wasn't almost hit the same. Wait, didn't Perry on them post a video of someone? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, check this out, guys. So. Obviously, these videos aren't up to date. You know what I'm saying? They're two days old, three days old, or whatever. So we did a truck for Perrillo, right? We did a 4.6, as you can see on this video. Uh, he liked it. He loved it. He was like, hell yeah, man. Thank you, whatever. We took care of my boy Perrillo as much as we could. Uh, we did a whole bunch of shit for him and took care of him. So he drives home. I didn't know, obviously. Something tells me, call him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Something was weird. So I called him. Uh, he didn't answer. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. He's probably asleep. Well, now I know why. So, uh, on the gas posted a video. 
and Berrio ran over a tire, but so they put on the video right that he got his truck dropped, whatever, and then the screen goes blank, and then it says, and then this happened. I was like, oh my god, like please don't tell me it was something that we did or I did or whatever. Now I have faith in my guys 110 percent, but there's just that one little doubt, you know, like what if? So he gets off and he's recording the truck. He's like, well, guys, guess what happened? Dude, my heart dropped. I was like, God damn it. We're fixing to get burned all over Instagram and YouTube. It was nothing like that. So an 18 wheeler threw a tire, hit the valence. He lost his fog lights and whatnot, whatever. Truck made it back to the shop safe. Uh, thank God he's not hurt. But he literally posted a video about that. In that same video, someone wrecked. Now I'm doing this video. We're talking about Perrillo. And then this motherfucker almost comes and wrecks into us and wrecks into that other dude. So yeah. But Rio, they'll be bringing that uh, that juju over here, that bad juju. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, don't cheap out on your drops because then we got to be doing stuff like this. And I ain't, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind going out of my way, but <clears throat> don't be talking shit, talking about, oh, we're expensive, we're expensive. And then at the end of the day, you end up coming back to us. And one thing that I've been noticing, it's the youngsters, bro. The youngsters that start coming to us and they're like, man, you know what? They start learning their lessons at a young age. And they started, like, they started, I guess they start realizing, like, damn, this motherfucker had a point in his videos, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, like, huge shout out to Jordy, his little click, uh, the guys from, like, Crew Cap Cartel. We get a lot of them guys in over here, too. Uh, a lot of your boys, uh, Jonathan from Next Door. These are youngsters, bro, like, Gustavo, too. That's the guy with the black single cap on the intros, right? Yeah. So, these guys are youngsters, bro. These are the type of kids that I love that come here. It's not me ripping them off. That's me giving them a prize for a quality work. So guy comes in, hey, I want my near, my rear end arrow. Uh, shocks relocated. I want this. I want that. Boom. I give them a price. All right, man. When can I make an appointment so you can take my keys? Re bring it back in three weeks. All right, bet. Bring it back in three weeks. We take care of it. We call him. It's ready. He comes back and pays up. No questions asked. Nothing like that because he already learned the hard way that we're going to give him a good quality product. So we've been building a lot of trucks for a lot of youngsters, man. A lot of like 18, 19 year olds, 20 year olds. And those are the guys that I'm realizing that they're not worried about pain. You know what I'm saying? Now you got these older dudes making a lot of money, whatever. Oh man, why so much? Why so much? Dude, if it's so much, take it somewhere else. When it messes up, which I'm not saying it is because there's a lot of great shops out there. Don't bring it back to me. If I'm too much for you from the get go, it's going to be too much for you when you bring it back. Now I'm not trying to sound cocky, but 99.9% .9 of the time, that's what's been happening. That's what we're doing right now, picking up parts because we gotta fix someone else's shit. So, let's head back to the shop house. Hey, wait. Pero como quiera, para haber quitado el otro y haber puesto este, wey, con todos los gas que tenía, quedó bien. Don Berguía. I mean, for the biggest. Imagine how so, how small little man would look at my dually. Guys, look, before I say anything, when y'all see that shit right there, all this, is because they had some tubs that were completely, completely way oversized for this truck. So we had to cut them out. And now, once we check it all in, we're going to have to make fitting plates for that, that, like, we'll fix this. Right here, Tula, they had it all fucked up, so we're going to have to fix all that right now. Dale. Dale, cuz. This is the shit that no one shows you that when they're fucking recording. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Esta fuerte razón. Hey, little man, I want you to tell us a story no, about this. Come on. I can't do it. What happened? Tell me. Tell me. Look, come on, come on. Look, I'm all right, bitch. I ain't tripping. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fucking seatbelt went in my butt. No, mama, that little seatbelt. Little man, come on. 
Hey, explain to us why you got traffic cones in the back of your truck. Just so, a little quick rundown. Hold on, hold on. Let me take this off real quick. Throw it on the floor. What? Nah, nah, because it's blue. I'm nah, just kidding. There you go, there. There you go. So, you know, Freddy's having a meet tonight, right? Yeah. Shout out to Freddy. He's having a meet tonight. Oh, yeah. So, of course, me and my people are going to show up. And uh, let's just say that I'm just going to block off some uh, spots for people. <laughs> he said, I'm going to go to Freddy's shop and I'm going to block off some cones. So, uh, I was like, boy, you think you're going to go to Freddy's shop and block off his yeah, shop? Maybe he wasn't going to see him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't going to see him like that because he'd be too busy talking to everybody. <laughs> what do you got to say about that, Raza? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, you can't. Hey, if that's your shop, what were you going to do? Oh, okay. Come on. Take your shit out of here. <laughs> what you All right. End of the funny show. We're going to go to lunch, guys. I'm writing. Uh -huh. You saw that? Yeah. That that's why you can't drive around with this motherfucker. God damn. Alright, uh, end of the funny story guys, yeah. That's why he has traffic cones in the back of his truck. You want your seat? Yeah, I'm hungry as fuck. You want your seat Yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry as fuck too. The other guys they ordered lunch and uh <laughs> we fucked up, we didn't order lunch so when they, the guy came to delivery we we're like, Hey you got more places? He's like, no, that's it, I only do them numbers. We're like so so we get something to eat. I got an idea. Why don't you start a little fans? What? Cause it'll be like a OnlyFans, but for you know. <laughs> little man said, "Hey man, I need to come up with new ideas to make some more money," and that was my brilliant idea to start a little fans. Bro, you never know. That might be the next million dollar idea. Yes or no? You never know. Yes or no? Tell me that wouldn't be popping, little fans. No? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That was funny. I thought that little fans would be good. I'll try some. Oh yeah, they like what's in here? I'll try some out. <laughs> no, no, no me quiere creer este wey que un little fans a lo mejor que si pegaría. Sería la nueva idea millonaria, no sabes? No, no. Estoy tiene pajaritos en el, en, el, en el boxer. A ver tus calzones de calidad. Herrera. ¿Y qué le dijiste tú? <risa> hey, los mejores calzones eran los de Eri, güey. <risa> los de ayer. Tenía un oyente aquí, parecía que tenía una tanga. Yo ni, yo ni enseño los míos, porque los míos van a estar todos agujerados de atrás. Hey, ¿sabes que entre más pedo te echas, güey, más agujeran? ¿Más qué? Entre más pedo te echas, más agujeros se hacen los calzones. Eh, 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 pedo por frente porque te he un chiste de agujero en la frente. He queefed. All right, in all seriousness, though, guys, you got, oh, you already got it put on? Yeah. yeah in all seriousness. So this one didn't have the, uh, the fender liners and Scarface said, hey, man, do me a favor, try to find them. And these came from Norgent and Auto Parks. So, you gotta check it out. New fender liners from a boy. Like I said, I can't show y'all the finished outcome because he has to post it first. So, if you got me on Snapchat, though, Snapchat seen it first. I don't have a lot of people on there, but if you do, add me. Y'all go check it out right there. <laughs> Mando said that he don't want to come out on nobody's videos. So, on purpose, I'm going to record it as every chance I get. But, yeah, se nos va Razo. He won't be here no more. He said he's still gonna come by and visit every once in a while. You wanna say something on the camera, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This one's out the door now. We got another Ram, almost the same year model as this one coming in. So, should be pretty dope. We're about to slap the bed on right now. So, all the reinforcements are done, everything's done. So we're gonna put the bed on. And then, once they slap the bed on, Tuesday, we're gonna take the wheels off, plate the fender, seam seal it, like I said earlier, paint it, and get it out of here. Cause this one needs to go.
hacer tanto hace chalk esta cosa. Eh, que nos hubiera dejado bolsearla de enfrente, pues, se hubiera dado más malón, güey. Man, what kind of friend does that? Look at that. Gonna come take off my brand new Fox Shocks. Fuck no. I just ate it. I think I'm gonna shit it out if I No mames. ¿Te leíste ese pinche ya que son para esta otra cosilla? No, lo único que tengo. Bitch, you better get the heavy side. You better go to the other side. I just ate two. One, two, three. Oh. What kind of friend does that? Yeah, take apart a brand new side by side to let Gio borrow. It's new. You'll be just 30 hours. It better be new. I told you, just, just sell me the little thing. Nah, I'm straight. I got, I got. I, I made it as a jack in the casa. I need it for the shop. That's cool. All right, guys. So check it out. We're about to give Scarface Ruben his Ford back. Uh, I'm gonna show a little teaser real quick. I haven't really posted anything too quick, but y'all check it out. That is all y'all get until he posts his video, then I'll be able to post it on my Instagram and whatnot. Uh, I wanted to show y'all something though. This truck had never gotten any, uh, how can I say it? Th th this truck had never been grinded close to, like nobody's ever uh, grinded around it or anything like that other than what we did to the truck. But when we did it on the truck, we covered it. Other than that, the truck had been sitting outside. So I wanted to show y'all something real quick that a lot of people think whenever it's sitting at a shop outside or something, the first thing someone always says is, oh man, they grinded close to it. No, that's not the case. Usually when a truck like this comes in, like we've done like some for Leo, uh, on the gas and uh, Scarface Ruben, it's their Freddy, stuff like that. When they're nice trucks that are painted real nice and clean and all that, we don't grind close to them. We don't do nothing like that. And whenever we do grind on the actual truck, we cover it. But since this truck had been sitting outside for a few weeks and whatnot, look what comes up on the paint. Hopefully I can see it, but I don't know if you can see all that right there. You see all that? All right, now check it out real quick. So you get a little bit of McGuire's quick detailer. Spray it on there real quick. You get the McGuire's clay bar. And this one's already dirty, so. So check it out. Look how the detail spray starts coming off of the paint. It starts coming out orange or whatever. That is not rust. That is not nobody grinding close to this truck that ain't nothing like that check it out you just go like that real quick little crisscross action this truck is going to get polished anyways right now so any little imperfections will all be taken away boom put that to the side grab a little microfiber towel wipe it dry it up check out the difference Still kind of wet around some areas, but y'all see the difference? Look. You see all that right there? All right. Look at it. All that gooey stuff right there. And then look. Bam. Nothing right there. Just in that one little area. So, like I said, guys, I, I see that whenever they go to paint shops and whatever, a lot of people are always like, oh man, they grinded close to it or whatever. That's not the case. They say that we grinded close to them and whatnot, or not us. Like I see that in general with other shops and stuff like that. And I even seen some customers get mad on video talking about, oh yeah, man, they messed up my paint or whatever. It's not that, it's just the fact that they didn't clean it when they gave it back to you. So like we're doing right now, me and my pops are taking care of this truck real quick for Scarface Ruben because he's supposed to come pick it up. I don't know if he's gonna pick it up today or tomorrow. And like I said, guys, it's not that someone grinded on it nothing like that it's just a fact that we live in texas where there's a bunch of trees and sometimes you get dust storms and it rains and then tree sap and dust or whatever and that's what you get check it out look how dirty that water comes up wipe it down bam nothing on it so nice and clean so we're gonna go ahead and do the whole truck right now and then polish it and then call ruben and tell him to come pick it up
Man, when I say it's hot, you don't. Ooh, it burns in the eyes, cuz. When I say it's hot, it's hot today. I don't know why. It's probably because it rained earlier and then the sun's out, so all that all that vapor's coming up off the floor or something. I don't know what it is, but we weren't feeling it today. Me and my pops, man, we're dripping from head to toe. So we thought ir a exprimir los calzones and uh hacer un licuado mi vieja para que se enamore más de mí. Nah, just kidding, baby. But guys, yeah, check out the final product of the RAM. We washed it, we clay barred it, we decontaminated it, we clay barred it again, we polished it, and then right now it needs a final like hand glaze just to seal it all up. But y'all check it out, man, it looks amazing. Y'all just check out that mirror shine, bro. You know? Woo -wee. Boy, check out that shine though, cuz you know, Ooh mirror, baby, mirror. Yeah, but he shout out to my dad. I know we had did a video before on how we clean the customer's trucks. Uh, I think it was on the on the gas uh, Tudor Tahoe, and then I believe we did the black 51 Chevy. So I didn't want to bore y'all with what we use or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all real quick. So what we use, so that way in the future you want to get your paint looking right or whatever, uh, you'll know exactly what to use. So first off, we rinse it all off in a cool area. We actually did this one inside the shop, but it's so hot that the water evaporated off the floor already. Uh, rinsed it all off, and then we use chemical guys. It's a soap, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it supposedly, keep, it takes like contaminants off and whatnot or whatever. So we use that. We washed the whole truck and then dried it all up. We clay barred the whole truck with the Meguiar's uh, clay bar kit and then washed the truck again. And then we clay barred it again because this one was pretty bad, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we clay barred it one last time and then we did a machine polish all the way around just to get all the swirl marks and all the little marks off of it or whatever, which we did. And then we went around and did a second uh, application on it. And then right now with the clean microfiber towel, my dad went around and just kind of like took all the swirl marks off or whatever from the, the wax and all that. He took it all off. And then we're gonna do a final hand polish tomorrow and then polish the wheels by hand a little bit just so they can leave out of here nice and shiny. So Julio, pero si estás mirando esto, cuz, mira, te la dejamos mamalona. So uh, yeah, guys, like I said, I didn't want to bore y'all with doing the whole how-to and everything, but in the future, I'll do another one. Um, oh, you know what? We also did Karen. Let me show y'all Karen real quick. But I can't show y'all too much because Ruben has it recorded, but I'll show y'all a little bit of how the paint came out. Now, Karen's white, so you can't really tell that much and it's outside. But, man, y'all check out the paint real quick. Woo-wee. When you got a mirror in white, you know you're doing something right. Wait, hold on. That made sense right there. But I can't show y'all everything. Shout out to Raceline Wheels for hooking them up. But yeah, guys, check it out. nice and clean nice and soft you can run your fingers through it look check it out you know smooth nothing in the paint yeah so like i said uh we did uh scarface rubens today we cleaned up everything pretty much on the truck the wheels and all that and the ram because both of these are leaving tomorrow i was actually calling ruben to see if he wanted to pick it up today but he didn't answer uh i don't know if he's probably still on the way back from vegas or not but uh yeah Ni modo, se lo perdió ahora, pero para mañana se la puede llevar. Hasta las dos pinches cinco casas se ven bien sexy. Se, ¿no? se mira, mamalón el cero para hacer. ¿Qué piensas, Rubén? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo te gustó? ¿Salió bien o no salió bien? Rubén, we just went for a drive. Ahí están tapitadas las llantas donde le dimos oh, un, sí, un quemón. La troca quedó con madre. La mera neta, te agradezco uh, el servicio que me diste aquí con la, la camioneta. The service you offered and gave to me and my truck, Karen. Uh, second to none. I love it. We just checked out all everything you did to it. Todo salió con madre. Yes, La mera neta se lo recomiendo. Like, if you want to get something done and done right and at a good price and yes, at, a, at a good time, you know, like yeah. period, like you did it in a good time area that it was like it wasn't gone for six months. Yeah, it was what, a, a month and a half. Yeah, and it would have been sooner. And but because we had, we had a couple hiccups, little yeah. things here and there, little hiccups. Pero la troca ya salió, la neta te agradezco, quedó con madre. We took a, like I said, we burned rubber, yeah. and we took, a, we took a ride on it, and it, everything is, is solid, is riding good. And the stance on it, the way she looks, it's just otro pedo. Quedó yeah, con madre la pinche camioneta. She looks, she looks like uh, one of those Cobra trucks. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. Now it looks like one of those. Yeah, you sure yeah, right. Yeah, she looks nice with that white wheel in the back. We, we were just good. talking about that. Me and your boy were like, man, something about it just looks beefy. It looks mean. It looks mean. She yeah. looks mean. Well, the good thing is that little 2.7 backs it up. Yeah. Because you felt it right yeah. now, right? <laughs> Guys, let me tell y'all something real quick. So, Ruben took me for a ride, right? I have, I just test drove this truck. Like, un pisoncito. I felt to get loose a little bit. I was like, okay, cool. You know, we put new axles, new bearings, new fluid. We wanted to check it out. So, we did that. And I was like, yeah, I ain't stepping on this truck. Well, he took me for a ride. We did a burnout for almost the whole block. Went around the block, and then he gunned it. Boy, that little 2.7, te sienta en el asiento. Yeah. Six cylinder. Yeah, it's it's boosted. Make sure you go follow my page, Boost Addiction underscore on Instagram. And El Scarface Ruben, uh, por todos lados. Check yes, me sir. out. But yeah, this little truck is boosted. It has It's a twin turbo, 2.7 six cylinder, and it moves. It, it, it moves pretty good. That's, that's upwards of 500 horsepower right there. It's a little bit over 500. I think it's yeah. like... 6 619 to the wheels. Well, Woo. it was 619 to the wheels to the 24s. Oh, it might have yeah. lo lost some a of little that bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. But it'll put some boost addiction sticker and it regains it. It regains it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, over 600 horsepower for a 2.7 liter. I was amazed by the outcome of it. It put me down on my seat and I was like, wow. So, but aquí estamos. Se la estamos entregando a camarada Ruben. Ya, ya se va con ella. Ya anda satisfecho. Ahorita la van a amarrar. And that's how we're going to end this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, and follow my boy Scarface for y'all that don't. La Karen y luego, pues, cuando la agarré, le pusimos la EcoBeast. Porque eco -beast. es, es una sí, little EcoBoost, little truck, you yeah. know, 2.7. Now, it ain't a little EcoBoost. This bitch is a beast. <laughs> y luego, la Nalgona, mira. Oh, esa es la pinche Nalgona, para los que no la conocen. Woo. La Karen, y luego, pues, la pinche Nalgona. Y luego, pues, la pinche Nalgona. Y la Karen, y la pinche Nalgona. El pinche setup se ve bonito, ¿no? Yeah. I'm going to have to take a picture of that right now. Because that motherfucker looks bad, you know? Thing we did to it, you know, make it different. That's Lalo, yeah. Lalo, Lalo did a lot of the color matching. Hell yeah. Uh, salud para Drastic, and American Forest Wheel with the sponsorship. Hell and yeah. And PSC did the. I didn't say it, but the delete. Oh the yeah, bridge. no, no, they did the, the tune. The tune, the tune. Yeah, they did the tune. The tune delete. Yeah. Según, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah. Algo así, pero it runs way better. Hell and yeah. then uh, Midland, Texas, the drop shop did a couple of lights and grill on it. Hell so yeah. I got a lot. Of, people you know involved on, on, on the on, on the build uh we got 16 wheeling tires salud para ellos they hooked yeah. it up with the rubber pero saludos yes, Roma, Amerita, thank you for taking care of me it was a it was a good experience with you and i'm gonna bring you another truck you know what who's coming back to your shop Ooh. sapphire wait there on you wait, go. wait, wait yeah. on wait on her I heard it, guys. We're going to get Sapphire in here. A ver cómo nos va con esta. Pero ahorita el pinche setup ese está más malón que lo vamos a tener que tomar una foto. Thanks, guys. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Y ahí los cacho en la otra. So pinche madre, pinche calorón. Woo! Guys, I did say that we weren't going to post the truck, but Scarface Ruben came before I even finished uploading the video uh, onto YouTube. So I was like, you know what? Let me re-edit the video that I had already edited. I put him on there. Y ahí lo miraron. So now y'all can go like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Peace, guys.